Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of area and perimeter. This is standard 4.5D in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 24 of the 2024 released STAR test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have a floor, it's made up of two rectangles, and we need to find the area of the floor in square feet. Now, area gets confused a little bit with perimeter, so let's see if we can make sure we understand the difference between the two. All right, so I'm taking just a, a regular shape. Let's call that a square, right? The perimeter is going to be the distance around, right? It's all four sides. It's the rim of this shape. Whereas my area is going to be the inside of my shape. And what we do in third grade is we imagine that there's little squares in there. We count up the number of squares, right, in an array. Something like that. So the area is the inside. And the perimeter is the outside. Well, let's say that we're really not sure which is which. What happens if we add up the perimeter of this, right? So we add up the 10 and the 20 and the 24 and the 8, 14, and the 12. Now, this is going to be your perimeter. It's not going to be in square feet because it's just regular feet because we're not making little squares in there, right? So this also is a clue when you're dealing with square feet you need to make the little squares which means you're dealing with area so if we add this 8 and 2 make 10 14 18 right then i've got 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so it's 88 feet now you see 88 square feet which is not technically correct but you see 88 as an option that's not what we're wanting. We're wanting area. So we're wanting the little squares. I don't feel like drawing all the little squares. So what we've learned is that area equals length times width. But we don't really have a rectangle here. We have what we call a composite shape. Two rectangles stuck together. So we can cut this right here. And we can say, all right, let's deal with the area of this right here first. And the area of this rectangle, this rectangle second. And then we'll add them. Okay, so length times width. Well, I can use this 12 and I can use this 10. So I can say 10 times 12, length times width. That's going to get me a pretty simple 120. And then I'll put square feet. Right? And then I've got this one. Now I need to find the height right there is. 8, I don't want to use this 14 because the 14 doesn't go over far enough. It's going to be this 24. 8 and 24. So you have to find the measurements that represent the length and the width. Okay, so 8 times 24. That we might need to do over here. 24 times 8, right? That's going to equal 32. 16, and then add 3 more, 192. 192. And then I've got square feet. All right, so I just need to now add those two together. The 192 and the 120. And what's that going to be? 2, 11, 312 square feet. So we see that right there for D. Now watch, I can cut this a different way if I really wanted to. What if I did it this way? I get two different rectangles. Now it's a 10 by 20, so 10 by 20 equals 200 square feet. And then this one is, I'm not going to use it 24 now, it's a 14 by 8. 14 by 8. All right, so 14 by 8 is going to be 112 square feet. And then guess what? You add those two, 200 square feet. 112 square feet, you're still going to get 312 square feet. Either way, you cut that up. So your answer here is D.